as close to the edge as I can get. I'm going to put a little potassium iodide right there. Okay, and then in addition, I'm going to go over here and put a little of my uh, lead nitrate. Over here, as far as I can get. Oh, uh, I, I, it, it'll, it'll straighten up in a minute. Um, that's just a contamination. I must have dropped a couple of crystals. In a minute, in a minute something spectacular is going to happen. Uh, fire. No, no fire. Um, oh, man. If you want fire, I can make fire. We need to do make some fire. Watch what happens as this, uh, as this develops. Um, <laughs> you can see that it's is 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 acting kind of like an etch a sketch and drawing a yellow line kind of. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just let it sit there and develop. See it keep continuing forming this little line, mm -hmm. a crooked line, but a line. Interesting, huh? You let that develop. And if you if you come up close and look, you can see the crystals are glittering in the light. They're like a, it looks like a looks like makeup. makeup, sparkle. What do you call that stuff? Glitter. Glitter. It looks like a little bit of glitter, doesn't it? Um, it's kind of pretty, in fact. And, and you know, it's like making a like a coral reef along there, <laughs> right? So what should we put here? Like it's just well, we're not done yet. But, um, what's interesting is how it forms that border between the two edges. Over here was the potassium iodide, and over here was the lead nitrate. You can see you can no longer see any crystals of potassium iodide because they all dissolved by now. And this, all of it hasn't dissolved yet is the only yeah. difference. It takes it a little longer for it to dissolve. But eventually, it would all dissolve, eventually. But what's most spectacular is this, this. If you're not totally pleased by this, you need to, you need to get away from the computer and, and get down here in the real world and, and just see how that ma makes a spectacular border. And, and the reason it's kind of distorted and that little spot separate is that I must have dropped a crystal. Uh, but there, you know what has happened here? Can I make an analogy? Sure. When, when the lead ions that are in solution with the nitrate chloride and iodine, when these two ions meet, no, see, the, the lead ions were on this side of the, of the they were forming on this side as the lead nitrate dissolved, and the iodine ions were being formed on that side. And so I have a wave front, if you like, of lead ions so diffusing, diffusing in this direction, and I have the iodide ions that are over on this edge diffusing in that direction. And when the two fronts meet, I got precipitation all along the front, just like when a cold front meets a warm front in weather, you get precipitation all along the front. We call it rain. That's the kind of precipitation. Snow, that's precipitation. Don't we call it that even in weather? Mm -hmm. That's because why? Precipitation is simply something that's falling out. If it falls out of the sky, it's a precipitate. If it falls out of solution, it's a precipitate. And there, this is a beautiful illustration of uh, the two fronts of ions meeting there. Now, the, you say, well, what about the potassium ions and the, uh, and the nitrate ions? Well, they're not doing anything. They just stay up in solution. Don't no, believe me, they're diffusing. But when those meet, nothing happens because they can't form a precipitate. So when these ions meet, nothing happens, and that's why we call them spectator ions. They don't do a thing. The PB and the 2NO don't do anything. When, the, when lead nitrate is put in water, it dissolves and forms these two ions. Yes. Then, when I mix that ion coming up with the ions coming from the other direction, 
it's the potassium and the nitrate that don't do anything. Oh. It's the lead and the iodide that do it all. Okay. And that's what the net ionic equation. This is the whole central part of forming that yellow precipitate. Okay. That lead, this, that yellow, it's, is the lead iodide. Okay. So okay. what you, okay, what you were saying was when lead ion, which is the first lead nitrate ion, when the lead ion mm -hmm, meets the uh, iodine ion, iodine ions, it forms the yellow. Yeah, see, the net ionic equation gives you the whole story. Yeah. The other ions have simply done nothing. They've gone along for the ride, okay. and we call them spectator ions. Yes, yeah, I get that. I just didn't but they're still there. They are definitely still there. And, well, here, if you look in your book, where they're, where they're doing exactly the same thing here, they're, they're reacting, according to your book, it says, look at the formation of lead iodide, as a solution of lead nitrate is added to a solution of potassium iodide. So they're doing exactly the same thing, yeah. except this precipitate isn't glistening and pretty like that precipitate. This precipitate is more like a yellow chalk, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. The reason that this precipitate is not pretty and crystalline like this one is simply that this one forms slowly because this salt had to dissolve and that salt had to dissolve, mm -hmm. and then the ions had to meet in these wave fronts of diffusion. You know, at all temperatures, molecules are in motion and ions are in motion. And so when they moved to get together and that net ionic equation occurred, then the crystals formed slowly along the front, and when they formed slowly, they're able to form larger and have that crystalline structure that pretty glistening structure. Um, but it's still, it's still simply lead iodide. Does everybody get a picture of this if you want a picture of this? Because I'm, so I'm about to disturb it. I think it's so pretty. Wait. Oh, okay. Go for it. Did you do it? Mm -hmm. I want to put it on my eye. Look at this. Oh, uh, no. Uh, we don't want to use this as eye yeah. shadow because you would, be, okay. you would be a shadow walking amongst yeah. the dead. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to class, even though it's a slave. Um, <laughs> Put it on. Now, look. Yeah. That is a precipitate, and it is the lead iodide. Mm -hmm. Now, there is in the solution. The other, the other ions, the potassium nitrate, is in there. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to separate them, I would, have to, I would have to filter them. And it's the lead iodide that's yellow. The other ones are totally colorless. Um, so you can't see them, of course. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to disturb this. Okay. Are you, have you ever, anybody, anybody else want a picture? Before I okay, this. so the, the stuff that you poured in here, it started off originally as yellow. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Oh, it didn't? No. It's oh. totally colorless. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't see it on the screen. <coughs> yeah, this, this is totally colorless and this is totally colorless. Uh, they, when, when they get together, it just turns out it's, it's the nature of the compound. Certain compounds will have color and certain don't. Right? Is that right? Yes. I right, disturb it. Let me see what happens. But it has a sign that said "Do not disturb." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so that you understand how that formed. That look how it looks like a kind of a, like a coral reef all across my little sea here. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Watch this now. I just stir it up, and it becomes just like that chalky stuff, because now these, these new crystals form very rapidly, and so they, they just look like a yellow. You, you can't see that what's yellow is not the whole solution, but only the powder. See that powder on the bottom? Mm -hmm. That's what's making the yellow. Um. It looks like the whole thing's yellow, but it's only because that powder is now yellow, right? Wow. Now, if I take this, this uh, dropper and suck up some of that, 
I, I just want to illustrate that I can put that through the filter paper. I'm not going to do the whole thing. And see how it's coming through totally clear? Of course, there was a yellow stain on my test tube, unfortunately. But um, the solid is staying behind. Can you see that? Because mm -hmm. the lead iodide is not, is not soluble, and it stays on the filter paper. And, uh, and the potassium, if I were to evaporate the water in this test tube, I would get my potassium nitrate. So would I say, like, the dropper placed the solution in? I just took some of the yeah. sol solution and its precipitate, yeah. and I filtered it. And the, the solid, yellow solid lead iodide stays on the filter paper, and the clear uh, potassium nitrate comes through. Okay. Um, and such is the case in all precipitation reactions. You can take a picture of the precipitate if you want to. <laughs> I didn't filter it all because I just wanted to show you. If I filtered it all, I would have all of that solid on there, and the liquid would come through, containing the water and the potassium nitrate. Right? Right. You follow? Okay. Well, that's, we spent a long time trying to understand precipitation reaction. You understand them better today than you did Monday, or whatever day it was, Tuesday. You see how these ions, they actually have to get at each other before anything can happen. Um, so we would say that that was colorless on the bottom because it wouldn't, it wouldn't it be colorless if there wasn't a stain? Mm -hmm. It is colorless. Yeah. There, there, there happened yeah. to have been a stain. I, I picked a dirty tube. I didn't know. I didn't okay. mean to. Um, maybe if I go over into another tube. Is there something in there too? Is that coming yeah, out? Coming is that coming out any clearer? A little bit clearer, yeah. right? Because it's going to be totally clear because potassium nitrate is totally colorless. Yeah. Um, so is it going to form crystals at the in the funnel? Those are crystals, yes. Yeah, yeah that's potassium. Uh, I mean lead iodide. Okay. It's a solid. Okay. And it's not as pretty as it was when it was the coral reef. But it is a solid crystal still. Uh, all right. If you've got all this written down, yeah. why did you put them on either sides of the? Uh, I put the feature the lead nitrate here and the potassium iodide there, so that the ions would have to diffuse toward one another to form that barrier. Gotcha. As a precipitate. And the analogy I use that is when the cold front meets the Warm. Yeah. Warm front, you get precipitation all along the front. Okay. And so when the lead ion front met the iodide ion front, I got precipitation all along the front. Gotcha. Didn't I? What would we call this lab? Glitter lab? Do we call it that? I'm shiny. Pretty as glitter. I'm shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow glitter lab. Coral reef. Uh, you can you can title it anything you want. You can call it the precipitation of lead iodide. I mean, that is, that's what we did, but we did it in an unusual way. Um, right? Okay, so this would be a good place to take a little break, and then when we come back, I can return your test, and we can uh, we can um, go on with the rest of this chapter as well. How was the purpose? The purpose is to. Precipitate lead iodide in an unusual way. Who left their notebook up here? I didn't mean that. I got it. I got the distance. Oh, I have something.